Hi, it's Brenda. Where'd it go? There it is. Who do you think? Oh, come on, you aren't camera shy. Hi, <laughs> welcome to my channel, My New Me, where you get to watch as I try to make sense out of the chaos that has become my life and my home. How lucky are you? Little brat, suddenly we're camera shy. Alrighty. I think we may be at the end. You can see part of our wall fell down. So we're going to have to fix that. That might be better. Yeah, man. So we went from five boxes and one giant tub full of crap to just this little pile. I'm pretty happy with that. Had to make an adjustment to the top because somebody needed her throne up there. So those two things went down there. Oh well. Oh well. It is her planet after all. Isn't it, little girl? Where'd your thingy go that you were playing with? Where'd it go? The vital toy hunt always comes first. I had recorded many more clips of this big sort, most of them with much more detail than this clip. However, I can't get them to work. All different sizes. Little tiny baggies, so I gotta figure out something to do with them. <coughs> In the meantime, not all tiny baggies, some of these giant two gallon baggies. In the meantime, they can all go in this one bag. And later I'll figure out what to do with them. Later always works. This one clip, I was able to get it where it was actually viewable after much, much, much fighting with it and flipping and converting and reconverting and ugh. So I don't know what happened to all of them, but at least we can watch this one. And I'm back in the purple shirt again. Some of the other clips, I wore different shirts. Look at that little gray kitty hair. How'd that happen? My phone must really like the color purple. Smartphone. I may use this for something in the RV, so it's going to go in the RV box for now. I was thinking it might do good to hold screws and bolts and things like that. Use that spot. No? Okay. I'll use this spot. Did you see what I did there? Smartphone and it's a smartphone? Ha I, I know. I'm not nearly as funny as I sometimes think I am. But I have fun with it. But anyway, you're getting a partial part two of the final sort. And it is the ending of it, but you missed a bunch of the steps in between. So I am sorry about that. Uh, I will link part one in the description box below if anyone is interested in seeing it. It was uploaded those oh so many eons ago or like five months. And then I, uh, I took a mental break, I guess. But I'm back. And this one, after much fighting and kitty butts in the face when I'm trying to narrate, I got it to work. Yay! In the first video, there were many comments about having so much stuff and too much clutter and there won't be enough space in the RV for it and things like that. And it could very well be true. Um, we don't know what will fit and will not fit in the RV yet because we don't have the RV yet. And if it doesn't fit, then we will get rid of it at that time. Give it away or sell it or whatever works best at the time. All of the stuff that you've seen here in the studio apartment, I had at the hazmat house. The hazmat house was just much larger, having six rooms and a basement and a front porch and a little back porch. But So it, it didn't look like as much in the hazmat house as it does here. And the hazmat house had built-in storage, which this place does not. Plus, I had much of this stuff when I was in the hotel apartment. And the hotel apartment was bigger, with the two big rooms, two bathrooms, the full kitchen, two closets. It just didn't look as cluttered or like as much stuff, especially when you have the built-in storage. I have a penny. I'm rich. With all that being said, I just want to say I have no intention of, nor do I want to be a mi minimalist. I can't even say it. Minimalist. So, I do have my favorite pens. And I think I'm going to put them in here. And so my other most of favorite is I'm going to put on this. I mean, I have had a lifetime of suckiness crammed into the past six years, 
And if I get enjoyment out of things I love to either have, look at, or use, why not keep them around me much more organized? And my other favorite pens are in my journal. So when I want to switch things out, I can do that. And I can, I can. Please don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with being a minimalist. If you have found that that makes you happy and brings you joy in your life, that is awesome. That is wonderful. I really am very happy for you. For me, it doesn't work. I am happy like this. All I ask is that you accept the source of my happiness just as I accept the source of yours. I like it. I'm sure I'll add to everything eventually. Actually, this can be my... I don't have an inbox. I was going to say, that could be my inbox. Me being all fancy fancy. I don't have an inbox. It can go right there. This can be my in the middle of crafting and can't, don't have time to finish it right now thing. So this can go here. Don't mind the clutter in the background. I'm not, I didn't pick it up. Oh, look at the clutter. I can go like that. And this is my computer working set station and this with all of that lovely stuff is my crafting area so this can go here this is my computer working station where the that old lady cat is sitting on and this is my crafting station and then i spent some time rambling and jabbering away at myself that i could not hear at all when i was editing so i'm just going to talk over top of me that's okay i don't mind I guess what I'm trying to say is it's okay to not like what I do, to still like the results of what I do, to still like the fact that it brings me happiness, and vice versa. It's okay for me to like the happiness that your actions bring you without me wanting to embrace those actions and have them become my entire life. That's, I mean, that difference is what, personally, I find it fascinating. I love to hear about the differences between everybody. Tastes, likes, all of that. I have a very dear friend that we are so much alike in so many ways, but we are so very different in other ways. And it just seems like every conversation I find some new something that we are the opposite of, but it makes her more fascinating, more wonderful to me. I don't need to not like her or not like it just because it's not what will work in my life or not what will fit with my personality it's okay to be different even as i keep shuffling things around in different places and changing my mind and putting them right back where they started that's okay i'm starting to blow my nose a lot so kind of ignore the roller toilet paper this was recorded probably around nine months ago and having lived with this setup for that long, I've discovered some of the things that I've done that aren't that did not work for me. And I've tried other things that I thought would be perfect, ended up not being perfect, so I tried something else. That is one thing that this channel and this journey has taught me. Once upon a time, if something didn't work perfectly for me the very first time, I would give up and be that's it, forget it, I'm done, I'm not gonna try anymore. However, since starting this channel, getting to know you folks through comments and emails, I've learned to accept the imperfections and build on them to make it better or happier. I just need to be happy. Thanks for watching. Take care and toodles.